My name is Sabah Nafis and I was born in Pakistan. I came to the U.S. when I was 11. I grew up in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm doing my PhD right now at Texas Tech University. My grandparents were U.S. citizens and they ran really successful businesses here in the United States in 2004. My grandparents were on the verge of passing away and that was kind of one of the reasons why we had to move here quickly. My father made the critical decision of staying in the United States rather than moving back to Pakistan because it really wasn't safe for us to go back. I must have been 14 or 15 when I realized that I had no papers because my visa had expired, my sponsors passed away. I was too young to really know what that meant. And there was no line we could get into. There was no way for us to go from an undocumented null status to A status. In June of 2012, DACA came about and that completely changed my life. DACA said deportation actions can be deferred against you because you were brought in as a child. You have to pay a big application fee, your backgrounds are checked, the application is actually quite stringent. DACA allows us to work legally, drive legally, have insurance for a two-year period. It's a very temporary status. 95% of DACA recipients go to school or work. If DACA was repealed, I would be out of a job pretty much immediately. And then, you know, I won't be able to teach my students. I won't be able to continue conducting the research that I'm conducting right now. 750,000 young people like myself are going to be out of a job immediately if it gets repealed. I'm actually really hopeful that President Trump and his administration and Congress will at least certainly look at this issue and try to come up with a solution that allows me to work and live here and try to achieve the American dream. This is my country and my goal is to give back to my country.